If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. This video will describe the Ruckus Analytics Quality of Experience, abbreviated QOE, features. Our agenda is to first describe the problem that the solution addresses, describe conceptually how the QOE process works and the requirements for setting it up, and then show a brief overview of the user interface menus. During the COVID pandemic, demand for video calls via popular platforms such as Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and WebEx increased dramatically. More people are working from home, students are taking classes remotely, telemedicine has increased, and many transactions that would normally occur in person are being done via video conferencing. As a result, the requirements for bandwidth have increased dramatically. As an example, reports in July of 2020 reported that Zoom daily users grew to 300 million meeting participants, up from 10 million in December of 2019. And in August of 2020, the UK reported that Zoom users grew by 2,000% during the COVID pandemic. Other platforms such as Microsoft Teams and WebEx have also experienced a dramatic increase. Video calls are one of the most demanding applications for a Wi-Fi network. They have high requirements for bandwidth due to video sharing, and latency and jitter can affect calls. However, there are two gaps in the industry today. First, there is no good way to definitively test that a Wi-Fi network is video call ready. There isn't a good way of troubleshooting all of these issues because your employer's IT doesn't have any idea what you're using at home on your local network or in another company office. If you speak with your cloud service provider, or ISP, they just talk to you about plans, speeds and feeds, and higher prices. And second, it's difficult to troubleshoot for a specific end-user video call in real time. Ruckus solves these issues by introducing a feature called Video Call Quality of Experience with our Ruckus Analytics platform. The priority for the rollout of this service with video call platforms will be Zoom first, followed by Microsoft Teams. When using this solution, a video test call will be set up between two Zoom users. A Ruckus Analytics admin will initiate a Zoom call with its own Ruckus Analytics Zoom account, send the Zoom link to the end user, and the end user will attend the call. The Ruckus Administrator admin must set up the call as the host. After a call of five to seven minutes, the data can then be analyzed to see if the client user has good video quality capabilities. Let's go through an example of how this works. Rob, a marketing VP working at Acme, calls Jim, the IT admin at Acme, and says that his Zoom conference calls have been patchy over Wi-Fi recently and wants to know what's wrong. Jim logs into Ruckus Analytics Service, which is a Zoom account separate from Ruckus or Comscope, and creates a Zoom test call for Rob. The RA service generates a Zoom link, and this can be copied and pasted into an email or sent automatically via the Zoom app and sent to rob at acme.com. Jim and Rob both dial into the Zoom call and hang up after five to seven minutes. Five to seven minutes allows enough time to get meaningful data as Zoom collects data every 60 seconds. During the call, they should be streaming video and audio and doing meaningful things that require some significant bandwidth. Ruckus Analytics will then pull call quality metrics from Zoom via APIs to a Zoom public server and fuse them with the Wi-Fi data for analysis. Five to seven minutes later, Jim reads the results from the test call. He can look at such things as throughput, RSSI, signal-to-noise ratio, frame rate, latency, jitter, and so forth. In this example, RA has determined that the Wi-Fi quality is sufficiently good for video calls and that the bottleneck seems to be from low backhaul bandwidth. So Jim very quickly identified a misconfiguration in the gateway and fixed that. To use this service, there are some prerequisites. Both the RA admin and the user must be on a Ruckus Smart Zone or Ruckus Cloud network using Ruckus APs for this function to work. The RA admin and the client need to use a Zoom mobile app or a desktop app, not a web browser version. Let's go through a few screen grabs to see what the user interface workflow looks like. So as a reminder, before setting up and launching the Zoom call, make sure that both the RA admin and the client are on a Ruckus Smart Zone or Ruckus Cloud Wi-Fi network using Ruckus APs. So the administrator logs into Ruckus Analytics and then selects Video Call QOE under the Service Validation tab. 
From here, they would click on Create Test Call and enter a test call name. This will bring up a screen with the RA Zoom account and a meeting URL. You can click on the URL and it will give you the option of how to email the link, either the default email, Gmail, or Yahoo Mail. In this case, I selected default email and it brings up Outlook. Then put in the email address of the client and send the email. Both the RA admin and the client will now launch the Zoom call. As I mentioned earlier, use the Zoom app for both a desktop and a mobile client login. Next, conduct the meeting for five to seven minutes to get a good sampling of data. Make sure to stream video, chat, share screens, and share some videos to maximize bandwidth for the test. After the test is finished, go back to the Video Call QoE tab and select the test. It could take up to 15 minutes for the data to be collected. Then select the test call report and open it. From here, you can analyze the video call qualities, looking at jitter, latency, packet loss, and video frame rate. It will show a bar graph for each user. The red area indicates problems. The green means that things are good. Once you have this information, you can then make a better judgment on any video call properties and recommend a solution if there is a problem. This concludes our introduction to Video Call QoE. Thanks for taking the time to view this presentation.